to be the fraction zone. Here, we are going to make you understand what are fractions. You can see that there are so many parts of a fraction. There is a whole, and which makes a half of a whole. Here, it makes 3 by 4, and it makes 1 by 4. Here, it has 1 by 3, 1 by 3, and 1 by 3. Now, I can call for Nina. You can see these rocks are used here. These rocks are not used for making decorations and all. There is a concept of them. If you add these all the rocks and uh, the, and then add these red rocks, you will get a ratio of them. And now I would like to call Mom. Hello. Hello, ma'am. There is a game for you. Please pick any card. Stay the right section. Which one is the right fraction? Mm, I think this one. No, ma'am. This one. Go on here. Um, this one? No. So? This one is the right fraction. Not can you please fraction. explain? Yeah. That you can see that there are eight parts and blue, four of them are colored. So if you... Uh, now, if you, will, if you will cut eight and sixteen, you will cut four by eight. And this will be fraction. It's wrong. So here, Amrinder and Agnew from 7th will explain. First, acute angle. It measures less than 90 degree. Second, right angle. It measures 90 degree. Third, obtuse angle. It measures more than 90 degree but less than 180 degree. Straight angle. This angle measures 180 degree. Reflex angle. This angle measures more than 180 degree but less than 360 degree. Complete angle. This angle measures 360 degree. This angle is also known as a complete revolution. Thank, Thank you. you. Here we are in the 3D zone, which comes from geometrical shapes. Here we have Nishtha and Sia from 7 to explain. Hello, welcome to geometrical shapes corner. So, here we have two types of shapes, 3D and 2D. I will tell about 3D shapes. 3D shapes are those shapes which are three-dimensional. For example, this. It has length, breadth and height. Here we have so many examples of 3D shapes. For example, cube, cuboid, cone, cylinder and pyramid. Thank you. And now you can learn about 2D shapes in that corner. Here we have 2D shapes. And I am pretty impressed here. So here we have Gunraj. Arya and Manya to explain. Hello everyone. So here, welcome to the 2D corner. There you got the information about the 3D shapes and now you're going to get the information about the 2D shapes. So 2D refers to two-dimensional. So now I'm going to tell you why is it called two-dimensional. In, three, in 3D, it's three-dimensional because it has its height, length and breadth. But in this, it only has its length and its breadth. So here, Manna will tell you some examples of 2D shapes. So the examples for this 2D shapes are square, Isosceles. There are three types of triangles. Isosceles triangle, equilateral triangle, scalene triangle. And the more example it is at rectangle. Five values are taken from actually. Like they are in the form of degrees. Like 0 degree, 30 degree, 45 degree, 60 degree and 90 degree. We can assume it in our hand also to learn it in easier way. Like imagine any point on a hand like I imagined here. So, so small finger will be 0 degree. Second one 30 degree, 45 degree, 60 degree and 90 degree. So it, it will give you a easy easy way to learn the trigonometric concept. And in, in this project, if there are there are the areas, this is the sine cos. And if we put the arrow in the zero degree in the middle in the small finger, we will get the value is equal to zero. So the value of zero degree will be is equal to zero. So to to see that this project we will make to write and after writing on the paper, we will imagine this chart and we will easy, easily like write values. Now we will move on to Anisha and Charles. There are some more basic concepts about Pigment. Today I Sanj is going to tell you about the basic concepts of trigonometry. Trigonometry is first developed with three names. Trigonometry. 
dry means three, geo means sides or vertices, and mati means measurement. So it basically means the measurement of three-sided object, which is a triangle. We can also measure a right angle triangle with the help of trigonometry. After coming across the word trigonometry, let me tell you it consists of six ratios. We have probability. So let's see a live example. So probability is uh, similar to percentage. And as we can write, there will be a 50% chance of rain today. And in probability, we can write 0 0.5 ch uh, chance of rain. Now I'll move on to my friend Harsimhan. This is a Plinko game. This is made in 1980 in America. I will show you, uh, show you experiment of this. Its probability is 1 over 4. Now I will move to bench. Today I will tell about the dice. If we will throw a dice and uh, uh, see its probability, the probability of dice is 1 over 6. And the probability of two dice is 36 upon 1. Hello guys, I am here with a basket in which I have have in total 48 balls. In which 12 are orange balls, 1 is red, 1 is purple, 12 are blue, 10 are yellow and 12 are green. As my favorite color is like blue. Blue is my favorite color so the prob probability of blue color is 12 over, uh, 12 over as possible outcome is 12 and total outcome is 48. So my, uh, it will be 12 over 48. The formula for probability is, uh, is equal to possible outcome over total outcome. So this is this was one example. Now, uh, like my lucky color is orange. So I'll take out, there are total 12 number of orange orange balls and and 48 total balls. So like this, I, I'll get my probability 12 over 48. And uh, there is a note guys that Every uh, every time probability will be between zero and one.